Hello, how you doing? Well, I'm here to open some packages. This is Sharon from Sharon's Place. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, tap that like button. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, leave me a comment and tap the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I put out new videos. Anyway, let's get started, what you say, okay? Um, first of all, this package. I think I know what's in here. No, I don't either. <laughs> I got an idea, but it's not what I thought it was. Okay, let's see what's in here. Hope you've had a good day today. You know, a lot of people that's supposed to be getting things through the mail from Amazon or other mail order places have been getting stuff stolen. I haven't heard of it happening around here locally, but I know that it does happen. Okay, you know what this is? This is plastic one gallon lids for my big jars something pretty handy got three of them I want to try them out before I ordered any more now let's see what this is it's a big package for a little box let's just see what's in this box you'd think it's Christmas wouldn't you you know what that is? Those are two small, I believe it's two small kombucha scobies. It's either two small ones or one large one. Okay. Those um, kombucha mushrooms here were from posymom.com. I've ordered from her from this place, I believe, once before. And the lids were from the Mercantile Company. But I got them, their fermentation jar replacement white polypropylene caps. Um, but they both came through, ordering them through Amazon. This is Cultured Food Life, for Life, by Donna Schwink. I've watched a lot of her YouTube videos, and this is supposed to be a really good book about using the probiotic foods uh, for meals. And I want to look that over really good. She's the founder of culturedfoodlife.com. Nice book, Donna. And then this is by her also, Cultured Food for Health. The other one is Cultured Food for Life, and this was Cultured Food for Health. And um, this has got kefir, kombucha, and cultured vegetables in it recipes uh, I don't see any pictures in it maybe there's a couple yes there's a few <laughs> anyway I'll get some use out of that I like that book now then this box and by the way, I don't get any funding from any place for uh, showing their items. I just like opening boxes of items when it's something I've ordered and that I'm going to use. And it may there could be things in here that might be interesting to you that you might would be interested in, in ordering to use. 
Okay, these are so lightweight. This is heavy. Uh, it's food safe glass, dishwasher safe, refrigerator safe, non porous surface, does not absorb food odors, flavors, or stains, and fits any wide mouth mason jar. So, you're wondering maybe, well, what is that? Well, if I can get it open, I can show you. Okay, they have a website called solight.net. It's S O L I G A, sorry, S O L I G T, no H, dot net, N E T. Uh, and you can subscribe to their newsletter to get fermenting recipes and the latest deals and discounts. And there are four of these weights, they are heavy. It's heavy glass. Now, I can tell you what this is for. Can you see that? These are weights. When you take a mason jar, and it says that they're, um, I believe, for wide mouth, wide mouth fermenting weights. So they fit the wide mouth jars. You can see the picture on the box. You put your apples or pears or pineapples down in there and your liquids that you would put in there. And then you put one of these down on it. And uh, that will weight the fruit down and keep it below the level of the fluids or liquids. And that's what that's for. Now then, this box was in there. Um, it's from Posy Mom. And it says Kombucha Scobies. I believe I ordered two small ones from her and one larger one. With the idea that if something happened to one or two of them, maybe the others would live. This is two. So that other one must hold one. And I'm going to have to get that kombucha made. Kombucha made. And I'll do a video when I make it. Uh, this is her card. Go to posybombs.com for your free instructions. I have a book from where I made kombucha, kombucha a long time ago that I can use. But I probably will check that out on her website just to be sure that I'm doing it correctly. Now this says a year of plenty BPA dash free something in recipes new and white. It's by year of plenty set of four fermentation lids that are white. These are plastic lids that goes on a mason jar. You can see the hole in the top with a rubber seal. You can um, ferment your apples from what I've read and things. And what you do is you put your fruit in there and your fluids and stuff and your weight and then you put that down on top of that out you take it out of the bag of course and you put this down through there maybe I can get it open without too much trouble It's heavier than I would have thought it was. It's hot, heavier than it looked. Put that in there. And then you put water in here. Uh, not over the... Not over the air valve. You put water in there, but not up over this. And that lets the gases come out. So it doesn't blow up <laughs> if you seal the jar up 
and this is sealed I will have to look and see here is a rubber seal that goes inside this lid I will have to read my instructions and see because I'm not sure how it all works I know you put the lid over your jar as it says you place the stem it's this outside part in the stem down in that hole that has the seal the rubber seal in the center right there that thing um, it's a grommet rubber grommet this inside the grommet down further than I've got it probably about a half inch is what it shows and then you put the insert in it like that and you fill the airlock with water until it's half level half and you snap the cover it says over the airlock that's this thing I don't think you can see it but in the top yeah yeah maybe you can see it right there see those little spots those are holes that are big enough for the gas to come out but the little creepy crawlies can't get in the sirenets all right that's what that how that works and that's the purpose of it I, I was thinking if it sealed off completely that would blow might blow up and there are I believe yeah a set of four so there's four of these and four lids so you could do uh, either wide mouth quart jars or you could even do half gallon jars and if you did four you would have two gallons of whatever you were doing plus you could also make different kinds like one of pineapple one with pears some apple or you could do different kinds of apples if you were interested in different varieties and that's what that is and when I make my apple cider vinegar I just may very well try I may not do them all with these lids but I may do I will do part of them but I have a one gallon jar that these will not fit I don't know if one of these will fit it either but I wouldn't put that on there anyway to ferment I would put it on there when it was finished but I wouldn't put it on there to ferment because of the um, it was seal you would have to leave it just like set it on top of it I'll put coffee filters on with that so that's what so far that I had to show you and now there's a couple of other things I'm gonna have to stand up to open this one so my head is gonna be out of view that's not such a bad thing is it <laughs> all right I know what this one is but I, I'm excited kind of to see because this will go along with my kombucha at least this will do you got it do you have any idea what that is I think I opened the bottom <laughs> this is a set of six bottles with the little resealable clamp down lids See? let me eat. that's what i will put my kombucha in you know that's a hard word to say what do you think it's a little hard to say for me anyway it might not be for everybody I'll probably first thing break these deals but anyway that's what that is and like I said I opened it in on the bottom 
and the information is on the other end. These look like fermentation rings. I'm not quite sure what they are. Maybe my instructions will tell me. Uh, let me get this out of the way and I'll sit back down. Okay, shows how to open them and how to close them. There's safety information on this card. It is by Otis Classic, O-T-I-S Classic. Uh, you're supposed to keep them in a cardboard box or cupboard rather than out on the countertop when, you're, when you've got them in the fermentation process. <laughs> I keep them out any of my fermenting or I used to I used to make kombucha a long time ago and I tried it again not too long ago this I'm not sure what this is it looks like one of those erasers you get for a dry erase board <laughs> so it says chalkboard label care uh, this the chalk pen is under the foam eraser chalk pen is under the foam eraser. I don't see any chalk. Anyway, that's what it says. Uh, wet the foam eraser with a little water for easy chalk removal. Okay. I guess these are chalk labels to put on the bottles. I'm thinking that's what that is. Launching new products monthly. You go to otisclassic.com slash testers. It's down there on the bottom. Like I said, I don't know if you can read that. This side says Otis Classic Remarkable Kitchenware. Product testers wanted new release. All right. And then here's six more of those. I think those are to write on with chalk, but I'm not sure. I didn't see any chalk in the under that eraser, but I didn't look real close. That's my box opening episode and my review. I have a couple of other reviews coming up. So, what do you think? Uh, do you enjoy this kind of a video? Maybe not. But if you've got any questions about any of these products that I got, just leave me a comment and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I've enjoyed having you here with me and I'm going to say thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you guys and um, come back see me. Bye.